two hours later. Okay, so I just, uh, I like to use Home Depot racking angle iron. I think it's kind of fun and a little bit funny. It kind of shows the parts of the car that have been modified. So I just uh, used the angle and I actually used the clutch hole to create this little bracket that everything fits into nicely. I have had to kind of notch the brake pedal way up here to kind of bring it up away from the floor. And yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna um, kind of trim it back a little bit here and there. I've tried the fender over the top, that fits pretty well. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty nice, clean solution. Um, the thing I like best about it is you don't have to modify the fender with a lot of the other things I've seen, you have to create a notch in the fender to fit the vacuum booster in there. All electric, no vacuum, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm gonna get a proportioning valve, line that up. I'm gonna kind of cut some stuff back, dress it up a tiny little bit, but leave it nice and orange so you can see where the mods have been done. And then we'll move on to the steering.